Hi, I am going to be taking you through some back bend poses today. I've had a few of you ask me for some um, demonstrations to be able to do back bend poses to help with your spine mobility. Um, some of you just to help you in everyday life feel more comfortable and some of you who are actually power lifters and are looking to improve your arch and your bench press. Um, so these poses are going to be demonstrated from beginner to more advanced movements. So definitely uh, go through each of the poses in the video, just watching maybe the first time and see where you fall. If you do the beginner poses and they feel like a breeze, go ahead and go on to the advanced. But if you get to the advanced and they are not feeling comfortable, definitely take your time on spending a little bit extra um, effort with your beginner poses before you move on to something a little more intense that you are not ready for. And that's okay. Um, the, the proper warm up before doing these types of poses, I really want to make sure you guys focus on your wrist. So you can do some movement like this to get your wrist nice and mobile before getting into these poses. What I like to do before doing like back bends or inversions or anything where I'm really using my wrists a lot to support myself is starting with a warm up where I press my wrist into the floor and I'm just gonna do like forward and backward movement so I can get those tendons and ligaments nice and warmed up before. So I would just sway back and forth a few times here and then I would switch. So bringing my fingers facing towards me and again, get a little bit of rocking going back and forth. You're gonna wanna do a couple different uh, positions with your wrist. So then I would maybe face them outwards, go left to right swaying, stay there for a few rounds and then bring them in, fingers facing each other, and then flip my hands over, keep swaying. So this is, like I said, again, just getting your wrist nice and warmed up, going through different ranges of motion. And then fingers facing me. So just like that. That's very condensed. I would definitely recommend longer in those positions, but I have already been doing yoga and my wrists are nice and warm and ready to go. So I'm going to start in a standing back bend pose. This would be the uh, most beginner pose. So what you would do, just come to a mountain pose and you're gonna stand completely symmetrical. I'm gonna go on a little bit of an angle so you can see my back. And from here, standing straight up, you're gonna breathe in, grow tall, and then slight back bend. Letting that chest open up towards the sky. Keeping those hips stacked over your ankles, making sure you're not pushing your hips too far forward. Just keep them nice and over your center. So that's about three breaths there. I would recommend starting doing about three to five breaths in each of these movements. Um, if you feel like you're really tight, maybe you sit a lot throughout the day and you find yourself always you know, hunched over on a laptop or always looking down at your phone, I would definitely give yourself a few breaths to really get loose and feel relaxed and open in these poses. Um, not only are they just, are they back bends, they're also chest openers too. And most of us can use chest openers because like most people in society, we have smartphones that we're on all day long and we're just looking down and we're really closed off. So that would be the first pose. Uh, the second pose, we would come down to the ground into a um, upward dog. So you would come all the way down, but your hands are gonna be under your shoulders. And as you inhale, you're gonna push up to get a slight back bend. So in this pose, you can keep your feet flat on the floor. You could also push your feet into the ground for an upward dog too. 
The most important thing is that you keep your shoulders on your back so that it keeps your chest nice and open and that we keep our spine neutral. So maybe you're just looking forward, you pull your chin back a little bit to stack that cervical spine. What we don't want is to completely throw our head all the way back. That's compressing our cervical spine, which is not good. So we wanna just stack it so it's in a proper position and it's nice and protected. Again, breathing through, you can see with this position, I have a nice back bend. And from that pose, I would recommend coming to um, a cat pose. So for cat pose, you would push your hands right under your shoulders and push them into the ground while pushing your knees into the ground. You're gonna get that opposite action of rounding the spine. So in powerlifting, we're trying to arch the spine on the bench this way. So I recommend being able to do the opposite action of rounding this way. Just to promote good spine health and have opposite action. Next pose is going to be down on your mat again, and you will come into locus. So for locus pose, you're all the way down, and our hands are out by our sides with our palms facing the ground. We're gonna take a breath in, and as we breathe in, we lift up through our chest and our feet for a slight back bend. This is pretty much still a beginner movement. So breath in. Shoulder blades on the back, big breath in, contracting that back body. And lower. We're gonna take it a little bit more advanced to a bow pose. For bow, you're gonna grab at your ankles. You're gonna make sure that you keep your knees and close together and you're gonna Inhale, and the same thing, lift at your feet, lift at your chest for a nice back bend and a, sh a chest opener. Breath in. And lower. The next movement we would take is a bridge. So you're gonna come to your seat and slowly lower onto your back. For this pose, you're gonna be pushing your hands into the floor and your feet into the floor, making sure that the pressure through your feet is on the insides of your feet so that you're not pushing through the ground on the outsides of your feet and bowing your legs open. So we really wanna make sure we're keeping our knees nice and neutral in line with our ankles. So from here, you're gonna breathe in, push into the floor, keep your shoulder blades on your back, and you get a little a slight back bend here. Again, breathing through. To advance this pose, you could bring your feet in a little bit more and reach towards your ankles and get even more of a back bend here. And carefully come out of that. Our next position is wheel pose. And I actually have a yoga wheel here, which is a great prop to have, which you would want to make sure you line up right in the middle of your back so that you are completely centered on the wheel. 
And for the first modification, if you have the prop, you can just let your shoulders relax open, bring your hands next to your ears, and let yourself rest here. So that is just a very micro back bend. If you don't have a wheel, you can come into the same position with your hands next to your ears and you can push up into wheel with a kickstand, which means right here, resting on our head, but also pushing into the floor through our hands and our feet so that all the weight is not just falling in our head. We're still using the rest of our body to support this position. If you are able, you can push up into a full wheel pose here. And that is gonna get you a very big back bend. So this is definitely gonna help those power lifters get that nice arch in their spine. Again, holding for a few breaths here in each of these poses so that you can really help yourself gain mobility. And then carefully coming out of that position, lowering to the mat. If you feel like your spine is just arched a lot there, you can also bring your knees into your chest and get a little bit of rocking here, just to massage out that spine. Maybe hugging your feet into your chest and letting all of your vertebrae rock along the floor. For the next pose, we will go into camel, which is, again, once we get to wheel, these poses become pretty advanced. So I would recommend definitely stopping if once we got to wheel it was too hard for you and just working on those poses. Camel pose is another pretty big back bend. You're gonna start with your hips directly over tall knees and you're gonna take a few breaths here and let your chest slowly fall open. The goal here is to I have to bring my ankles up a little bit, but some people will keep their feet flat on the floor. The goal is to be able to, as you're taking deep breaths and relaxing open, to be able to grab at your ankles and let your head fall back slightly, but again, keeping that spine stacked, not dropping our head all the way down. So in this position, you want to make sure that your hips are staying stacked over your knees and that you're not letting your hips fall, uh, push forward. So proper positioning would be like I was here and proper positioning would be letting yourself fall back like this. So um, the beginning modification for that pose would just be to keep your hands on your sacrum and let your chest fall open. So you get a nice small back bend here. If you feel able, like I said, you can advance to your hands on your ankles or with your feet flat on the floor and go all the way back. Again, take your time getting into that pose. That one is pretty advanced. And the last pose I want to show you guys is plow pose, which is on your seat again. For this pose, you're going to come onto your back and you're going to lift your hips up. I would maybe push off the floor here or rock my way up. So plow pose, you're going to get your hips stacked and then you will straighten your feet, having control on your core. Really um, using your hands to keep yourself nice and tall. And then let your feet fall over your head. Two options here, keep our hands flat on the floor or 
bring our hands behind our head. We are very compressed here, not able to take super deep breaths, but you are getting some good spine mobility here. And carefully coming out of that pose, supporting behind your back, legs up, hands down, control it down. So those are your backbend poses to practice. Camera likes to not stay in focus. Um, go ahead and give those a shot, three to five breaths through each of the poses. See how they feel for you. Comment if you would like um, more variations and poses for either backbending or whatever issues you might be having in your everyday life or how you could um, how you are looking to add mobility to your workout routine so that it can improve your fitness goals. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.